Hey, what's up everybody? This is Josh from Upright Health here with Matt Shu. And today we're going to talk about anterior pelvic tilt and some of the muscles that become weak and don't function properly uh, when you have anterior pelvic tilt. So in one of the, the last videos, we discussed uh, some of the muscles that become kind of tight and are pulling you into an anterior pelvic tilt. Usually when you have uh, one set of muscle groups that are pulling, the other side gets kind of uh, inhibited so you can't use those muscles properly so when it comes to anterior pelvic tilt um, we'll have Matt let's do a side angle here mm -hmm. so when he goes into anterior tilt like in that last video we talked about some of those hip flexors like his quads um, and these uh, higher up hip flexors so as it are pulling him into this tilt here and now these muscles on the back side are becoming um, weak and you're not able to recruit them properly okay so um, you know one of the big muscle groups here is the glutes right and that's why you'll hear a lot of the time to um, try to correct the anterior pelvic tilt we need to turn the glutes on and make them work better okay so your glutes kind of attach on top of your pelvis and then down to um, your thigh bone here and they help to extend the hip so if Matt can turn on those glutes, then as you see, it brings him back into neutral and out of that tilt. Now, if he lets his glutes go weak, as you can see, he goes into anterior pelvic tilt. He gets this big arch in his lower back here, okay? So now, another muscle group that's very important is the hamstrings, okay? So the hamstrings are gonna attach on your pelvis um, and then they come down and they're going to attach down to uh, your lower leg, okay? So they're going to help to flex um, the knee here. But then what they also are going to do is extend the hip as well. So the same concept as the glutes. Um, when these guys relax and they're not doing their job, that pelvis is going to tilt forward, okay? And now a lot of the time... And now these are in a lengthened position, actually, and this can come through as tightness in some people, but really they're just not uh, at their optimal resting length and they're not functioning properly. So if we can turn those on and get some tension there, as you see, brings Matt back into a neutral pelvis position, okay? So the last muscle group that's very important when we're talking about anterior pelvic tilt is just your abdominals, okay? So... We'll just keep this, this basic here. Abdominals are going to come from up here on your rib cage down to the pelvis, all right? And when these are same thing, right? Not functioning properly, they're weak, um, they're not, you don't have the coordination to keep these con a little bit contracted, then as you can see, Matt's rib cage flares up, he gets a lot of arch in the lower back, and he comes into anterior pelvic tilt, okay? So turning these on, bringing that core um, engaged, brings him back into a better neutral position. Now, when it comes to anterior pelvic tilt, um, some people have more of a problem with different things, right? So for some people, it could be the abdominal region that is a big issue for them and not so much the glutes and the hamstring. While others, it could be more of these glutes, hamstrings, and for a lot of people, it's all of them combined, right? So training all of them is going to be your best bet towards fixing that. And that's basically what we try to do through our fixed anterior pelvic tilt program is we take kind of this integrated approach to um, tackle all those things and find out what works best for you. Um, so hopefully understanding the anatomy a little bit more helps some of you guys. Um, I know that for me, if I can kind of understand what's going on in the body, and it's easier to uh, kind of understand how to correct the things that are going wrong. That is uh, anterior pelvic tilt, those muscles that are getting weaker. Uh, if you haven't watched the other video about the muscles that are tight and pulling you into anterior pelvic tilt, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.